tonight. Robert Evans tries to charm his way into the banker's heart. So you're here for children. You're here for animals. You're here for your future. You change people's lives. I do that. I'm feeling just a tad bit emotional. <laughs> Will he play to stay? Will she send him packing? Oh, Ooh, that's a big hit. Oh my God! It's an unpredictable game. This might be the time to do a counteroffer. With the biggest surprise yet. Still, everybody here is here to support you. You know who this is? Oh my God! From Universal Orlando Resort, pulses will race and jaws will drop. Tonight on Deal or No Deal. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. I'm Howie Mandel. Now behind me, this is where the cases are opened and dreams either come true or they get shattered. But there's only one case that holds one million dollars and that case will hopefully end up right here. But we can't start opening cases until I do this. Ladies, please. Hello, ladies. Okay, our next player is about to create the memory of a lifetime, so let's bring him out. Robert Evans! What the hell? Yes! 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 Welcome. Thanks! It's good to meet you. Good to have you here. You're excited to be here. I'm very excited to be here. Well, we're excited to have you here, Robert Evans. Tell me a little bit about yourself, young man. I am man. from a small area in Yadkin County, North Carolina. Okay. Called Booger Swamp Road. Oh, look. That's actually the yes. street side. Yes. So you're not kidding. I'm not kidding you. And that's where you picked to live? Actually, See what I did there? <laughs> you're good. I know. You're I know. good. You're good. My Aunt Maddie Gay. Lives off of Booger Swamp Road. Look, at, she's in a rocking chair yes. with a quilt. Yes. That's your aunt? That is my aunt, Maddie Gay. Oh, with... your accent. Thank you. And that is funny because I am a speech pathologist. Are you really? Yes. I love yes. that. Oh, that's a wonderful For three, job. For five year olds. Yeah, yes. when, my, when my son was little, we had to send him to a speech pathologist and it changed his life. Yes. You change people's lives I do. with that. I do. That's and, amazing. And I love it. I love it. It's very rewarding. That's amazing. You sound like such a sweet guy. If you were to walk out of here with a million dollars, what are the kind of things you want to do with it? The first thing I would do is give a huge donation to the Humane Society. Oh, that's wonderful. So you're here for children. You're here for animals. You're here for your future. I'm here for my future. I'm 46. Right now, I'm, I'm renting a condo. and I would like to be able to buy my own place so I can have the next 40 to 50 years of my life. Oh, that is so great. <laughs> yes. Do you want a home? You want to give to the Humane Society? Is there anything else? I'm very dramatic. Okay, I'm, I'm um, sensing no subtlety here. <laughs> um, I do community theater a lot, and I got into that because for years, right? my great-grandmother, she got me hooked on soap operas. That's so. why you got into theater, because you find theater to be like the stories? Yes, yes. it's my escape from reality. Yeah. All right, are you ready for like a very dramatic moment? Oh, God, yes. Okay, let's start the show. Woo, let's do it! Okay. Let's do it! Woo! Yeah. All right, we got... 26 cases in this little village we have here. This yes. is like a soap opera. Oh my God, it is. Y yes. One of them is your sister. Right. But we're not gonna tell you, Robert. Anyway. Yeah. But we will tell you that each case has a different amount of money packed by a random third party. We don't know what's in any of the cases. But we do know that one of the cases is holding $1 million. Oh, okay. yeah. Woo! All you have to do. Yes is pick the case with $1 million. We're going for case number 11. Case 11 of Brittany. <laughs> Woo! Real. Yes! Yeah! Thank you, dear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
That's it. That is it. You know what we want to do? We want to find out if the million is in there. You know how we yes. do that? We open those. Woo, yes. Whichever in those is not in yours. All Let's right. start by opening up six cases. Let's do it. Yeah! Number 17. Ashley, open your case. <laughs> low, 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 low. That's a big one, that but... That was a big one. It's all right. I've still it's got, all right. Got you got all the top amount still in play, including right. one million dollars. Yes! Uh, Woo! All right. Open. Number 10. 10 is Veda. Veda, open your case. Yes! Yes! Woo! Yes! That's what I'm talking about! Okay, so the matter. Okay, 14. Yes. Olga, open the case. Please. Baby, yes! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. See, if, a girl. if this was a real soap opera, Olga would leave and she'd come back she as would. number 19 and we she wouldn't would. know why. I know. <laughs> she had number 22. Ancha. Ancha. Open your case. Keep it on the low side. Oh, oh, oh. We're okay, oh. we're okay, we're okay. We still have four out of the five biggest amounts in play, including yes. one yes. million dollars. Yes. Two more cases to yes. open. Five. All right, Lainey, open the case. You all look, look so at, fabulous. Yeah, these are all, you know who these are? These are all my children. Oh! And I bet they only have one life to live. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah! You win one more Woo. case. All right, let's go for case number 13. I like your hair. You like your hair, that's mahogany locks. Open Keep it your low, case. mahogany. Woo, come on, oh! Ooh, that's a big oh. hit. That's a big hit. We need to get back to the left. Okay, but let me tell you something. And you have the best cushion that anybody could have in this game. The two bottom on the right, three quarters and one million dollars. Yes. yes. Everybody wants you to go home with a million dollars, with the huge money, so all you're doing is come through. Me too. Me too. Except one person. And all these stories, they have a villain, right? There's she's always- She's it. Why? Yes. She wants you to go home with as little as possible. She's very dramatic. She's gonna call and try to make you an offer to buy that case for as little as possible. When the phone rings, let's both like turn and dramatically look at that camera over there. So we're about to get an offer. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yeah. All right. First offer, $11,000. Wait, 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 wait. Let's talk about this. Now, you could say no deal and continue the game where you have to open up five more cases. Look, there are four huge amounts left on the board, five cases to open. Or, this is deal or no deal 2.0, you have one other option, and that is you can counter offer. But you can only do that once in the game. And it's gotta be reasonable. If she takes the offer, you get the money that you want, and she gets the case, and you go home. If she says no deal, the offer's off the table, and you continue the game. In this case, you'd open up another five cases. Okay. So those are all your options. This is the one question. Robert Evans, deal or no deal? Well, $11,000 is a lot of money to a North Carolina teacher. Right. That's a lot of money. But I would also want to give a sizable donation to the Humane Society, and I just feel like I need more to do that. All right. So at this time, my answer is going to be no deal. No deal. It is no deal. Huge money still in the game. $1 million. He's got five cases to open. He's going for it when you come back.
Welcome back. This is Deal or No Deal. This is Robert Evans, who does an amazing job. I love your career. Speech, pathology, he helps children to be able to communicate. So you're a great man who does great things. And I'm staring at Maddie Gay. She's rocking. She's having a good time. Yes, she is. Wow. Well, you're having a good time? A ball. A ball. <laughs> Five cases to open. Five cases, all right. Number 23. And Julia. And Julia, I like it. And Julia, open your case. Keep it low, and Julia. Four more cases. Woo. Number 19. Tasha, open your case. Woo! That's all right. Woo! Good. $5,000 is good. Three more cases. All right, let's go with number three. That's Katie. Katie! Hello, Amel. Woo! Ready? Yeah, I guess. Low. Low. Oh, you are good! You are good! Wow. Right, two more cases. All right, 15. How's your Maddie? Gorgeous. She is stunning. She Open is your gorgeous. case. Oh, please keep it to the left. Okay, okay. One more. This is a really good round. Okay. Let's keep it going. All right. Let me get Patricia. I remember you from the first round of Deal or No Deal. I want you, I want Thank case you. number nine. Thank you. Welcome back. I too am a soap fanatic, and I am your sister. Yes, yes, wow. yes, yes. Wow. All right, Patricia, open your case. Keep it small, Patricia. Hello. How's this? Oh, yes! Wow. Yes! That yes. was an amazing round. Yes, that's you ready? what I'm Wait, 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 wait. The biggest amount that you knocked out is $5,000. You're about to get a big offer. <laughs> Don't worry, Robert. I'll get it. Okay. Okay. Hello. <laughs> right. Okay. Wow. Okay. The biggest amount you knocked out was $5,000. A lot of big amounts left in play. $35,000. Now let's talk about this for a second. If you say no to that, and that's a guarantee, it goes away. Mm -hmm. And you must open up four cases. You could hit some of those big amounts right. and knock them out. These are big, pressing decisions. You brought people with you. Yes, I did. Let's meet the rest of the cast. Let's meet them. Woo! Hi. Hi. Yes. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Tell me about yourself. My name is Dana Gurry. I'm also a speech pathologist with Robert. He is fun-loving. He's also a great, greatly compassionate person who brings a lot to our profession. Fantastic. And you Hi, are? Hi, Howie. I'm Debbie Victor. I've been a preschool speech pathologist for 31 years, and the parents and the children adore him. He gets right down on their level. He's awesome. The only thing he can't do is skip. He can't, he's not good at skipping, but. I, I can skip now. Skipping isn't hard. <laughs> Let me see you skip. Here we go. Ready? Woo! I just learned it? Yes! All right, and you are? I'm Betsy Howerton, yeah. and I'm a speech pathologist with Robert, Dana, and Debbie, and he is just as professional at his job as they have said, but he also has a big mouth. <laughs> and, um... The mouth of the South. Are you here to support? <laughs> but, but how? But let's get back to serious business. Yes, let's and do serious it. business is $35,000. Robert Evans, deal or no deal? Okay. Come on, Robert, you're down there. No deal. That hurt. Four cases to open. All right, four cases. All right, let's go. 
21, 21, you gorgeous thing, I would like your case. That's Malika. But please keep it low. You gotta open your case. Oh! oh. The $300,000 is out, but the perfect game in Deal or No Deal, there'd be two cases left, $750,000 and $1 million. So you have that opportunity to still play the perfect game. Let's keep the kid in the show, Robert Evans. Yes. All right, let's go with number eight. Number eight, it's your time to shine. Oh, okay, please. open the case. Woo! Yes! Yes! Wow! We're on our way Woo! to a perfect game, a million dollars still in play when we come back. Welcome back to Deal or No Deal. We're having a great game here. There's a great board, and our player today is a speech pathologist for children, and you want to do good for animals, and you're playing well. You are so bold, and I am beautiful. <laughs> so, uh, good one, see what Allie. I did there? Yes. If you're just joining us, that's a reference to the soap <laughs> operas that Robert loves. You're playing a great game. You have a great cushion on the bottom right of three quarters and one million dollars still in play. You have two cases to open. Okay. It's scary. Yes. How do you feel right now, Robert? This game is not always easy. Right. Uh, and so when those big cases open, yeah. it just kind of makes you stop and think about <laughs> things you might have gone through. Yeah. This is challenging, but this challenge is nothing compared to what a cute little kiddo named Xavier uh, used to work with had to go through. <laughs> I started with Xavier, he said no words. And, <laughs> whoo, by the time I actually finished with him, um, he was actually, had met all of his language goals and was working on just individual speak sounds. Wow. Yeah. I love, you know, I can see the emotion and the passion in what you do. It's not just a job for you, no. it is a life, you know? And I want nothing more than for you to walk out of here with every dream you have. You ready? Yes. So let's yes. open up. Two more cases. All right. Let's go with case 24. I like your smile. Case 24. That's Kizzy. Please keep it low. Okay, I'm trying, oh. I'm trying. <laughs> That's good. That's, That's good. good. That's good. Wow. That's good. Yeah. One more case. All right, let's go with case 16. Okay. This is a crucial case. Yes. Keep, keep me low, Jessica Lee. right out of your rocker. <laughs> you are, young lady, you are off your rocker. <laughs> are you happy? Yes, yeah, Oh, look, happy. she's crying, she's so happy. I love that. I hope he takes all the banker's money. <laughs> me too. Yeah. Oh no, that reminds me, we're about to get a call. Hello. Right. Okay. She's saying this board is really good. said, what's good for you is bad for her. The offer is $52,000. A lot of money. $52,000. It's a lot of money when you're a speech therapist. You say probably 200 dogs a year. Think about it. 
about what you can do for those animals. You need some more money. You need more money than that. This is real business. So I'll ask you, and then you can answer. Deal or no deal? $52,000 is a lot of money. It is a lot of money. But I want to be able to help so many dogs and cats, and I want to be able to buy a house. So for right now, I'm going to say no deal. No deal. It is hard. How does that feel? It felt scary. Just a little scary. bit scary. But three cases to open. Three cases. All right, here we go. Let's go with two, case number two. Ayler, keep the cushion alive. Open the case. So would I. So would I. All right, two more. Two more. Two more. All right. I'm what did you say? What did you just say? I saw you lean over and tell something to the lady in front of you. I said, what? I hope he picks 26. 26? <laughs> oh. It better be good, Madigan. <laughs> oh. God, yeah. Go ahead, number 26. Okay. <laughs> you better hope it's low, Madigan. Please open the case. Please, God, let me low, 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 low. Ah! Yeah! Yes, Matty Gay. Woo! A large, large one million left in play. We will open that case when you come back. Welcome back to Deal or No Deal. We're playing with Mr. Robert Evans, speech pathologist and lover of soap operas. Yes. Yeah. Have you ever watched the telenovelas? The Spanish soap I operas? I have not. I have not watched You telen haven't? I have not watched Romance? telenovelas. Do you like them? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Soraya Hi. is a big fan, and we'll show you what they're like. I'll do a little quick scene. In this scene, you will be Soraya. OK. Try it. <laughs> Y todas estas mujeres, ¿de dónde salieron, Howie? ¿Ah? Dime, callejero. Wow. Wow. It's supposed to be pretend. It was supposed to be pretend, right? I'm sorry. It was supposed to be pretend. She got into it. I know. <laughs> One case like told <laughs> One case. <laughs> One case. Okay. All right, let's go for the lovely number six. Okay. Because Vicki Buchanan on One Life to Live had six alternate personalities. Okay. Yes. As funny yes. as that is and as weird as that is, yes. this is a very serious case. Yes. I saw the gravitas you gave turning down $52,000. Almost a year's earnings. Yeah, that's a lot of money. But if you're able to keep the $750,000 and the $1 million alive, your next decision is going to be that much harder. So I want all positive vibes. Megan, please. Please, Lowe, please. Megan. <laughs> Megan, please. Open the case. That board. Oh my God, Howie. I know. This is getting real. Hello. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, 
What is it? Let's go, let's go. Yeah. yeah. $95,000. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Tell me what you're saying. Me? Yeah. I so take it. Robert Evans, deal or no deal? Oh my God, that is so life changing. Whew, that, would, that would be a good donation to the Humane Society. It would be your car paid off, your college loans, a down payment. One more time, Robert, one more time. I think I am going to go one more time, no deal. Are you okay with that decision? You're okay. You know what I'm noticing? Everybody in the audience, you guys are here to support them, aren't you? Yes. This audience, you're here to support them. You feel it? You feel everybody here is here to support you? You feel it? You want to support them, right? You want to support them, right? You want to support them. You guys want to support them? Do you want to support them? Yeah. Stand up. Stand up. You know who this is? Oh my God! That's Xavier. Xavier. That's the kid you were talking about. Come on. Oh my God. Hey, buddy. How are you? You're super good. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a dream come true for all of us. Oh. He has not seen him in two years. This is the child that came to him, could not speak a word. Yeah. He changed your life. And now for you being here, you're changing his life. You know that? Oh. And you're his mom, right? His mom. What's your name? Kim. Hi, Kim. Hi, here, give me. Oh there you go. God. I had no idea. Oh, hey, tell you. me, I want you to tell me a little bit about this guy. Come here, tell uh, me. Um, I just couldn't think of anybody else who was more deserving to be here. We will forever be grateful. They connected and he's a miracle because of Robert. Is this fun for you, buddy? Yes, this yeah. is really fun. Yeah, <laughs> what do you think of this guy right here? I would really su support him. <laughs> I would make his dream, dreams come true. Oh. You want to make his dreams come true? Because he made your dreams come true, right? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that is so wonderful. Oh my gosh. Here for you. you know what? I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes together. We're going to go all the way for a million dollars. Look at the camera and say, when we come back. Say that. When we come back. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Deal or No Deal. Robert Evans from Booger Swamp Row <laughs> has been reunited with Xavier, a child whose life he changed forever, and now he is here to support you. You just turned down $95,000. I think you need some support. That meant a lot to you. You said that could change your life, but that board is still good. Tell me how you're feeling. I'm feeling just a tad bit emotional. <laughs> That's okay. Well, it's more about the numbers that stay right, rather than right, the numbers right, that yeah. go away. But this is all for you. This is all about you, Robert. Two cases open. It is scary now because as good as that board is, it's precarious because that bottom right, you have to keep in play. Start picking cases. Okay. I will go for case 18. Okay, that's the list. Okay. It's obvious to me that the way that you've affected these people's lives and probably hundreds of others is worth way more than money, but it's also why I feel so nervous to open this. <laughs> I want it to be a low number. So I'm gonna try. Oh, please. Low numbers, that's right, Xavier. Low numbers. Oh, $100, please. Oh, please. Xavier, low 
phone numbers. Oh. 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 Okay. 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 There is no safety net, but there is one million. One case to open. You need to see anything but one million dollars. Pick that case. Okay, Robert. Oh, no, no, Let's go. Case number seven. Case seven. This is Jordana. I'm gonna ask everybody in this room to get behind him. This is more important than any other case. Jordana, open the case. Okay, you have a one out of three chance of having at least $100,000 in that case. At this point in the game, you're only opening one case at a time. Here is your next offer. Remember, you knocked out three quarters of a million dollars. Hello. Okay. The offer dropped. The new offer is $88,000. Listen. No deal, no deal, don't Let me just, let me just lay it out. $88,000, you have 100% chance, if you want to, of taking that home. You also have a chance of moving on and opening one case at a time. You need to think, you need to talk before I ask you the question. Feeling good about your case number 11, Robert. You are a lucky person. Yeah, I'm feeling confident in you. You're doing awesome. What do you think? I think you should open up another box. Yeah. Okay, what's the difference this time versus last time? I just feel like, you know, it's got a better change now. <laughs> I'm going with my gut instinct and No deal. Okay. The good news is you have a five out of six chance of opening anything but the million and keeping that in play. But if you should be unlucky enough to open one case and that one case is a million, it will never be 88,000 again. Right, right. It is up to this next case. Okay, I'm gonna go with case 25. Her name is Summer, and there's a lot of weight on Summer's shoulders watch. right now. I cannot watch. Why? This is scary. I'd be like, I'd be like, what? All right. Cover your eyes and tell Summer to make it $500. Yeah. Tell her, say, yes. 500. 500. 500. 500. All right. Please, 500. See if he's got it in his case. Welcome back to Deal or No Deal. Uh, this is intense. Robert Evans is here from Booger Swamp Road. There are only five cases left in play, one of them being a million dollars. What is going on? You, young man, have another tough decision to make. Yes, I do. You're about to get an offer. Here we go. Hello. Right.
There is an incredible chance that your case is holding one million dollars. Because of that, you are about to get your biggest offer by far. $139,000. One in five chance. You have a one in five chance of that million. You have to open one case, right? One case. One case left. This might be the time to do a counter offer. When you counter, the risk is this. You hand the game control over to the banker. If you're going to counter, you should make your counter reasonable. There's nothing about you deserving. There's nothing about you being a good person. It's only about numbers and risk. If you offer her a deal that doesn't make sense, she says no deal, and you will be forced to open one more case. Okay. I, I think I think I think two hundred's too high. That's only okay, fifty thousand dollars. You still have a million. You still have a million on that board. Remember, you have a, a one out of five chance that that case is holding a million dollars, but you also have a one out of five chance that that case is holding five hundred dollars. Right. How would I like to make my counter offer? Two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. One hundred eighty-five thousand. Okay, it's in. The counter is one hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars. Let me ask you something. If she said deal, and you walked out of here with one hundred eighty-five thousand dollars, how would you feel if you found out that this case was holding one million dollars? I would. Let out a big sigh, a little dramatic sigh, but the $185,000 would totally change my life. And I'm gonna be able to help people by doing it, too. Will you help people even without it? You would be able to help more people with it? And I'm gonna be able to buy a house. I'm gonna have to check my bank account balance every day, but the main thing I want, those abused animals, <laughs> like get to me every single time. And that little boy right there had to overcome stuff too. It's up to her. Here's your answer. Hello. Right. Okay. You know, she heard what I heard. And you know, when you hear that somebody wants to help animals and help children and help people, and, and she said, um, she said, her decisions, it's, this game is not about who deserves it. This game is strictly about numbers. And she wishes it was about deserving, but it's not. So she's sorry. She's very sorry that it's not about that. But in any case, when it comes to numbers and risk, she said, "Deal." Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God, Howard! Yeah. All right. All right. Oh my God! All right. You sold this case for $185,000. You are changing your life. You're changing the life of others. That is good. What we don't know is if you made a good deal. How are you going to feel if this is a million dollars? I'll still be okay because I'm leaving with $185,000. Okay. I'm still leaving with $185,000. Had, had you said no deal or she said no deal, your next case choice would have been? Would have been number 20. 
That would have been the 100,000. And okay. she would have offered you $248,000. Your next case choice would be? 12. 12. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and the bank would have offered you $357,000. Had you said no deal, you would have picked another case and that would have been? Number one. You made a good deal. Oh my God! So if you're up in the UK. Oh my God! Oh my God! These are the days of Robert Evans' life. He's skipping out of here with one hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars. Thanks to Kim and Xavier for being here. Tune in next time to find out who my evil twin is. All that and more on the next Deal or No Deal.